Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So we still are the road. We are still in the parish of St. Anne. Approaching the end of the video, you are going to see us taking a bypass road because the traffic, it was heavy in front of us. Do you know the name of the road that we are going to be driving on? If you do, just drop it in the comment section below. Continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Even though the stories are bad, continue to sit back and relax. Now, tomorrow, I will be celebrating my birthday. Yes, tomorrow, I will be celebrating another milestone. As promised, I've started to give away some cash for my birthday. Some persons have already received cash to assist with their children's back-to-school preparations. We still have some more money to give away, but we are going through the request. For those of you who still wish to donate to the cause, it is not too late. You can still send us your contribution via PayPal, MoneyGram, Western Union, Cash App, or Zelle. Just send us a WhatsApp message for more details. The WhatsApp number is 876 343 1034. That's 876 343 1034. And that WhatsApp number is for persons who wish to donate. And for those who have donated already, enough respect. Now, over the past few days, there has been a lot of rain especially in western jamaica there has been some amount of flooding now this was lucy in the parish of anova yesterday take a look water water like children water 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 Go water high. I must cover the sea water. Watch out. Water, water. No, Lucy has been like that for ages. Decades. Even centuries. No, I don't know. <laughs> Trust me, I don't know what the authorities are going to do about it. Because if they rise the road, people are living there. They are going to be flooded out. Persons are calling for a bypass road. I am not an engineer, but where is this bypass road going to be built? Because this bypass road will have to start beyond Johnson Town. So is it going to be built over the sea? Well, I am not an engineer, so let's see what they come up with. But my viewers, my subscribers, please stay safe. Don't take any chances in the floodwaters. The chance that you decide to take may end up being a tragic one. Please be careful. In the news today, we are learning that the Royal Fashion Store on the busy St. James Street in the town of Montego Bay in the parish of St. James was robbed late yesterday afternoon. Tuesday, August 30, 2022. We are learning that the owner of the store, who is of an Indian descent, his staff and a few customers, were in the store when two hoodlums posing as customers entered the store. It is said that one of the hoodlums, he pulled a gun and held up the owner of the store. Both of them, they then proceeded to rob the owner of thousands of Jamaican dollars in cash. They then made good their escape on foot in the area. Just like that. Now, this next incident, it took place yesterday morning. Tuesday, August 30, 2022, about 9 o'clock. It took place right in the vicinity of a guest house at Larrington Avenue in the Lucy Police area in the parish of Hanover. So we are learning that a team of police officers, they were on patrol in the Lucy Police area when they received information that a group of men were involved in a dispute. As a result, the police officers, they proceeded to the location. We are learning that when the police reached, they saw about 8 to 10 men 
standing along the roadway in front of a guest house. The men, on seeing the police unit, they ran off in bushes and made good their escape. But guess what? The police officers, they didn't just turn around and left. They searched the area and bingo. In the bushes where the men ran through, the police found a black strap bag. This bag, it was searched and in the bag, the police found one black Glock 17 9mm pistol with the serial number intact, affixed with a magazine containing 10 rounds of 9mm cartridges. We are told that the police officers, they also found other items in the bag which will easily lead them to who the owner of the bag is. Now, it is said that these men, they were involved in a dispute, you know. Can you imagine what might have happened if the police hadn't showed up? One gun was found, but it is correct to assume that others in the group might have been armed as well. We want to say congratulations to the Lucy police for responding swiftly and managing to recover this illegal weapon. Job well done. So, we brought you a story on Tuesday, March 1, 2022. And we told you that that man on your screen, his name is Lamarck Allen. But he was popularly known as Happy. Happy, he was 26 years old. And he lived at Lagood District in the Withan area in the parish of Westmoreland. On Monday, February 28, 2022, about some minutes after 12 midday, broad daylight happy he was standing along the roadway in the community where he lived when he was approached by two hoodlums it is said that they spoke to happy for a while the hoodlums they then brandished guns and opened gunfire at happy happy he managed to run off but the hoodlums they chased happy and caught up with him behind the house the two hoodlums they then pumped several bullets into happy at point blank range killing him on the spot the hoodlums they then made good their escape on foot in the area remember we told you that this incident it took place broad daylight a little bit after 12 midday this incident it was committed in the full view of several persons we are told that when the police processed this crime scene over 15 9 mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Now, a guy was also shot and killed in the same area the previous day. Sunday, February 27th, 2022. His name is Maurice James, but he was popularly known as Trickster. Well, it was said at the time that Happy's killing was a reprisal for the killing of Trickster. So, immediately after Happy was killed, the killers were identified and the police, they were hot on their heels. We are told that the police, they carried out several raids trying to apprehend these suspects, but they were not found. Well, it seems like the heat, it was getting too hot for at least one of them. Because on Wednesday, August 24th, 2022, one week ago, one of the suspects, accompanied by his lawyer, he turned himself in at the Savannah Lamar police station. Now, after a question and answer session yesterday, he was officially charged for the offense of murder. His name is Demarian Campbell. He's popularly known as G-Man and he's 20 years old. He's living at Old Road in the Withan area in the parish of Westmoreland. So, G-Man, he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next incident, you might have heard about it. It took place yesterday afternoon. Tuesday, August 30, 2022, about 4.30. It took place at the Petcom service station at Grange Lane in Portmore in the parish of St. Catherine. So, this is what we are learning. That female on your screen, her name is Chevelle Lewis. On Tuesday... September 6th, next week. Chevelle, she would be celebrating her 31st birthday. Chevelle, she lived at Central Avenue at 
Windsor Heights in the Central Village Police area in the parish of St. Catherine. Chevelle, she was the mother of at least two children. I said at least because I am sure she is the mother of a boy and a girl. I am not sure if she is the mother of any other. Now, Chevelle, she is the sister of a hoodlum. Yes, her brother's name is Kemar Clark and he's popularly known as Sandman. Now, Sandman, he lives in the same Windsor Heights area. It is said that Sandman, he's involved in many atrocities committed in the Central Village area. Now, we have no reports that Chevelle is involved in any criminality. She is just the sister of a hoodlum. But you know the saying, if you can't catch Kwaku, what you catch? Yeah man, drop it in the comment section. So, yesterday afternoon, Chevelle, she was on duty at the petrol station, serving customers and trying to eat a food for herself and her children, trying to make some money to start out their back-to-school stuffs. When two hoodlums rode into the gas station on a motorcycle, it is said that the pillion, he jumped off the bike, brandished a gun and pumped six bullets into Chevelle's body. The hoodlum, he then jumped back on the bike and he and his crony, they made good their escape. Them just make a doppy. <laughs> Chevelle, she died on the spot. The police were called and we are told that when they processed this crime scene, six 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. Just like that, at least two children were made motherless. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet hit on it, remember to hit on it. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell, then click all, so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, this one took place last night. Tuesday, August 30, 2022, about some minutes after 10 o'clock. It took place at Garden District. In the White House area in the parish of Westmoreland. Once again, the once peaceful garden district is in the news for the wrong reason. Ah oh boy. So, that man on your screen, his name is Kemar Taylor, but he was popularly known as Passy. Passy, he was 22 years old and he lived at Garden District. We are learning that Passy. He was standing amongst a group of persons along the roadway at Garden when they were approached by three hoodlums. They were all armed with guns. The hoodlums, they pointed their guns directly at Passy and opened gunfire, hitting him in his head and his upper body. Passy, he was clearly the target and the only target for these hoodlums. Passy, he then collapsed and fell to the ground. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape on foot in the area. The police were called and Passy. He was transported to the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital where he was officially pronounced. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, a number of 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. I could have sung 
Chiba Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals say mash up Jamaica Jamaica's mash up 